Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our first lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called formula and variation. So we'll start by looking at a formula whereby we'll be basically uh, be looking at how to make subject of the formula. So if you want to make um, a certain variable subject of the formula, there are some three uh, key points that you need to note. Uh, the first point is that you need to uh, open brackets, uh, open uh, any brackets, you open any uh, brackets, that is uh, where possible, uh, open any brackets where uh, possible. Then the second procedure that you need to notice that you need to eliminate, uh, eliminate, eliminate any fractions, eliminate any uh, fractions, of course, where possible, any fractions uh, where possible and the easiest way of eliminating the fraction is by uh, multiplying through uh, multiplying uh, through uh, the equation multiplying through uh, the equation the equation by the LCM multiplying through the equation by the LCM the LCM then the other third point that you need to notice that uh, you need to uh, that is eliminate uh, you need to eliminate eliminate any roots any roots where possible eliminate any roots where uh, possible uh, when we talk of the roots uh, for example if uh, the equation has a square root uh, you need to eliminate the square root by squaring uh, both sides the other root could be maybe a cube root you need to cube both sides if there is a fourth root uh, you multiply through uh, by, that is uh, a quarter. Then if there is a fifth root, you also need to uh, do away with it. Then of course, the other roots could be, maybe it is uh, the equation is multiplied by a third. So you can um, uh, multiply through by the cube root so that you can, uh, that is eliminate the third. Uh, or you cube uh, both sides. Uh. If there is maybe... Uh, something like uh, maybe you have a bracket which is to the power of uh, maybe something power 5 then you multiply through uh, by 1 over 5 so that the 1 over 5 and power 5 is going to cancel out so these are basically the major uh, three steps that you need to uh, be aware of the other maybe step that you also need to know is that you can uh, group or you simply uh, collect the like terms you can collect uh, the like terms collect the like uh, terms uh, having uh, collect the like terms having uh, the number or having the variable uh, variable having the variable to be made subject of the formula to be made uh, subject of the formula subject of the formula of the uh, formula so basically these are the four steps uh, that we follow when you are making uh, a certain equation subject of the formula then uh, we can look at an example so that uh, we see how we can apply this in a given question so our first example is a past case equation done in uh, 1989 paper 2 question number 3 it's a question worth 3 marks so we are told to make x the subject of the formula n is equals to p over uh, the square root of ax plus bx so for example the first step here we have um, a square root uh, so we are going to remove the root uh, so the easiest way of eliminating a square root is squaring both sides therefore i'm going to square uh, both sides of this particular equation i also square uh, this other side so of course this one will give me uh, n squared uh, being equal to this will be uh, p squared then of course uh, the square and the square root uh, will cancel out so that on the denominator I'm going to remain with ax plus bx because this square is going to cancel out the uh, square root. Then from this particular point I want to uh, cross multiply so that I have uh, n squared then into uh, ax then plus bx which should be equal to 1 multiplied by p squared I'm simply going to get p squared. Then I open the bracket so that I'll have uh, ax n squared, ax n squared, then plus uh, bx, bx n uh, squared being equal to p squared. So because I'm required to make x subject of the formula, uh, I'll factor out x so that I'll have 
uh, x uh, into of course uh, if i take a x n squared divided by x i'm going to remain with a n squared because the x will cancel out then b x n squared divided by x i'm going to remain with uh, b n squared because the x will cancel out uh, which should be equal to uh, p squared uh, therefore actually i'm going to divide on both sides of this equation by uh, what whatever is in the bracket which is uh, a n uh, squared then plus b n squared i also divide this other side with uh, a n squared a n squared then plus b n squared so that uh, these two are actually going to cancel out so this is n squared so this term this one and this one are going to cancel out so that um, i'm going to remain uh, with my answer uh, being given by the following so that means the final answer will be given by uh, x uh, being equal to uh, p squared so this will be p squared divided by uh, a n squared a n squared then plus b n squared so that is how to make x subject of the formula we can also look at our example number two which is also a past case equation which was done in um, 1993 paper one question number 10 so it reads that make n subject of the formula e is equals to the square root of x into n minus x over n minus one so again the first step i'm going to remove uh, the root uh, so by squaring both sides so i'm going to square uh, both sides of this particular equation so this will be squared i also square this other uh, side so that i'm going to remain with uh, e squared uh, being equal to so the square root and the square will actually cancel out uh, so that we remain with x into uh, n minus x then of course the whole thing divided by uh, n minus one now from this particular point i need to make n the subject therefore i'll cross multiply so i make this a fraction so this one is going to multiply with this so that we are going to have uh, e squared uh, into bracket n minus 1 being equal to 1 multiplied by this. I'm still going to remain with x into n minus x. So if I open the bracket, I'm going to have uh, e squared n then minus a e squared times 1. I'll get e squared uh, being equal to this will be uh, x n then minus x times x, I'll get x squared. So since I need to make n subject of the formula, I'm going to combine uh, the terms that are having n on one side. So I'll combine this and this. So by taking this one to this other side, then because this one doesn't have an n, I'll take it to uh, the other side. So I'm going to remain with the following. So I'll have uh, e squared n. Then of course, if this one moves to the left-hand side, uh, um, it will be a negative so negative x n being equal to if e squared moves to the right hand side it will be a positive so i'll have positive um, e squared then i also had uh, an x squared on this other side so minus x squared then from this point i'm simply going to factor out n so that i'll have n uh, into bracket uh, e squared then of course minus x uh, which should be able to give me e squared then minus x squared now from this particular point uh, let me separate my working so i'm simply going to remain with uh, the following so i'm going to divide uh, let me rewrite uh, this equation here so i have uh, n uh, into bracket e squared uh, then minus x of course which is equal to uh, e squared minus x squared so this is e squared minus x squared so i'm going to divide through uh, by e squared of um, that is uh, so i'm going to divide through uh, both sides of this particular uh, equation uh, with the following so i divide through by whatever is in the bracket which is uh, e squared minus x which should be so i also divide this other side with uh, e squared uh, e squared minus x so of course e squared minus x will cancel out so that the value of n will be equal to uh, e squared so this will be e squared then of course uh, minus x squared then divided by uh, e squared e squared minus x 
or this one can also be expressed as because these are difference of two squares so we can talk of uh, e plus x then of course uh, e minus x e minus x then divided by uh, e squared e squared minus x so either can be the answer so that means that uh, the value of n uh, is either equal to uh, e squared minus x squared over uh, e squared uh, minus x or n can also be uh, given as uh, e plus x then of course uh, into uh, e minus x then the whole thing uh, divided by e squared minus x so either of the answers are acceptable then we can look at our example number three which is also a past KCC question tested in 1994 paper one question number 14 it reads that make p subject of the formula uh, given that a is equals to a negative ep divided by the square root of a p squared plus n so the first thing is to eliminate the roots by squaring both sides of this particular equation so i'm going to square so that i do away with that uh, the square root that is on the denominator so this will be given by the following so i'm going to square this side i also square uh, this other side so that i'm going to have the following so this will be a squared uh, a squared is equals to so this one is the same as saying negative uh, e p of course i'm going to square uh, this particular uh, numerator then i also square the denominator so the square root of uh, p squared plus n then of course i'm also going to uh, square it so i'm also going to square this uh, so that is the interpretation of this particular square so i'm going to have s squared uh, being equal to so this one means that i am having negative ep then multiplied by negative ep so of course uh divided by uh the square root will cancel with the square so that i remain with a p squared then of course plus uh n so this is uh going to give me the following so this is going to give me the following so i'm going to end up with uh, a squared uh, a squared being equal to of course negative and negative will give us a positive e times e i'm going to get a positive e squared then p times p i'm going to get p squared then divided by on the denominator i'm having a p squared so this is p squared plus n so they want us to make p subject of the formula therefore i'm going to cross multiply so i divide through by one so this one will multiply with this so that i'm having a squared uh, into bracket p squared then plus n uh, being equal to one multiplied by this uh, it will ju just remain to be e squared p squared so if i open this bracket i'm going to have um, p squared a squared then plus uh, n multiplied by a squared uh, which should be equal to uh, e squared p squared then i'm going to collect the terms having a p together so i'll take this one to this side then i'll take this other term to the other side because i need to make p subject so this will be a p squared a squared of course this will be a minus so minus e a squared p squared being equal to this will be a minus also minus n uh, a squared then i'll factor out my p squared so this will be p squared into a squared minus e squared then i close the bracket which should be equal to negative n a squared then i'm going to divide through by whatever is in the bracket so that i divide through by a squared minus e squared i also divide through by uh, a squared minus e squared therefore i'm going to uh, get the following so i'm going to remain with um, the following so this will uh, give me so of course the e square that is a squared minus e squared will cancel out so my p squared uh, will be uh, equal to the negative of uh, n a squared n a squared then divided by uh, a squared a squared minus e squared so if i want to remain with p alone i'm going to square root both sides so i square root this side i also square root this other uh, side here but remember the square root of a number is always plus or minus so it means that p uh, will be equal to so this square root will be plus or minus huh? so it will be plus or minus uh, the square root of 
uh, the following. So this will be uh, into brackets. I'm going to have negative uh, n, negative n a uh, squared. Then of course divided with uh, a squared minus e uh, squared. So this will be uh, p. That is the subject uh, of p. So remember, you can also express this as p is equals to plus or minus. Uh, you can also uh, decide to take um, yeah. So this one actually it will remain to be this way. Yeah, actually this will be the final answer. So we can uh, leave it at this particular uh, point. So uh, in our next class, we'll be looking at further examples involving making subject of the formula. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you.